Uh, you've been here three years now, switching back with the zone blocking scheme. Now. How's the transition going? It's going great. Uh, you know, we were able to install and uh, you know, you know, kind of introduce it all and, and learn it all during OTA. So now in training camp, you know, we can execute. And now with the pads on like today, and, you know, fly around and, and be able to you know get the the real reps. Speaking of which, back in pads, how great is is it to be back in pads now instead of just running around? Yeah, you know, I think it's a lot more fun. You know, being able to, to actually play the game and. You know, then you really know what you need to work on, and you can you can start you know working on that stuff for for the season. You know, because it's uh, it's all or nothing when it when it comes that time. Obviously, new regime here with the loss of Al Davis. Um, how different is it here, and what change have you seen without Al Davis prowling around the sidelines? You know what? Uh, the one thing I do know is you know that we you know keep keep working hard every day. You know that's something that uh, you know we've been stressing since the beginning of, uh, of OTAs and now training camp is you know work and finish and uh, you know that's all we're really focused on we're not focused on anything that's that's going on outside you know what's what's new what's old what's the same no, as you know it's all each practice each meeting and you know we try to get better in every phase have you noticed a difference in coaching philosophies now that Wiz isn't here you know coaching guys up no cuz he he was still working on it with the same same system that you know Frank was or Coach Pollock was you know, uh, installing, so they were on this you know same page with that. And it's a that that part hasn't changed. How has running back Darren McFadden looked to you behind you? Great, uh, you know he's an awesome back to have behind you. Uh, you know can make you look great on a lot of plays, and you know very dangerous. Every offensive line, you know, has got to get get chemistry together and, and you got a little shuffling Cooper came over onto the other side how's that coming together as a group oh it's going I think it's going really well you know it's nice having Coop there next to me at 13 years of experience uh, you know, definitely definitely feels good and, uh, you know I think we're gonna mesh really nicely you know even though three practices that we've had you know it looks like we're gonna come together nicely and it'll definitely be, be a great line this year uh, Mike yes I think uh I think he can be a very explosive guy. Uh, you see him hit the hole at a million miles per hour, you know, bust right through. So I'm, you know, I'm excited to to see him uh, you know, in action when it comes to game time. Kind of exciting to have three kind of fast, yeah. decisive guys behind you. Three backs that can that can fly, and those guys can kick it into a high gear quick. So it is real nice having those guys back behind you. And like I said, you know, it makes us look real good when you got guys that fast because you know you get in the right position. You can block your guy for, for you know a second or two. Those guys will be by you, make, make you look real good. So looking back on last year, what what things are, have you been working on this off season, and, and what do you still need to work on? You know, I want to keep working on uh, you know, just uh, strength and you know adding uh, you know lean muscle and create, you know strengthening technique. You know some of the areas that you know, I wanted to improve from last year. You know, I want to keep working uh, with you know improving my hands, and footwork. You know, so that stuff can always be better. You know, I, I feel like that's real important for, for the alignment to you know, be able to bring the feet with the hands and you know, work the two separately when the knee and works. So I've, you know, I've been trying to work on that, and I think that'll, uh, that'll help be kind of an emphasis through training camp.